I want to now speak briefly on another important issue. For many years, Gold Coast residents have faced continued uncertainty about a proposed mega casino development on the spit. Courageous local groups, including Save Our Spit, Save Our Broadwater, Main Beach Association and Gecko, the Gold Coast Environment um, Hinterland Organisation, have been fighting to keep this land out of the hands of greedy property developers. The spit is the last public, undeveloped coastal green space left on the Gold Coast. The proposed casino development is nothing more than a public asset sale by greedy politicians on behalf of their corporate developer mates. Seventy per cent of Gold Coast residents oppose this development on the spit, and yet the Queensland Labor government promised that it would listen to residents' concerns, but they've recently backflipped and now they back this development. The project's developers, the ASF Group and their business partners, have donated $110,000 to the LNP and at least $40,000 to the Labor Party since 2013. There are concerns that key steps in the EPBC Act approval process for a proposed adjacent cruise ship terminal have been skipped by the Federal Environment Minister. There is no transparency and there's a murky network of lobbyists, politicians and political favours behind this project. Queenslanders have had enough and it's time for an alternative vision of how we build our cities, a vision that puts people before profit and is led from the grassroots. Residents have a right to make and remake the city they live in, and it's far past time that those in power recognise that.